Hey guys, my name is Jeff Rojas. I'm a fashion and portrait photographer based in New York City. I also love simple lighting setups. If you guys are familiar with my work or my channel, you know that KISS Photo stands for Keep It Simple Photography. Ultimately, I love to maximize every lighting modifier that I have on set in a variety of different ways. So I'm gonna teach you guys three simple ways that you guys can use a reflective umbrella on set. Now today I'm gonna to use a seven foot reflective umbrella. I don't expect all of you to have a seven foot reflective umbrella on set, but all the techniques that we're gonna cover are completely transferable to other sizes of that specific modifier. With that, I leave you this short video. One of the most valuable skills a photographer can learn is versatility. Learning how to use your modifiers in a variety of different ways allows you to create a variety of different images using the same modifier. Today I'm going to show you guys three simple lighting setups that I use by solely using a reflective umbrella. My first setup is one of my favorite ways to use a reflective umbrella, and that's simply to place the umbrella at 45 degrees, angled slightly down at our subject. This allows me to accentuate my subject's features better, specifically his cheekbones and jawline. But because of the size of the modifier, I can also be sure that I have a very soft form of light. For those of you new to lighting, you'll have to remember this basic lighting principle. The larger your modifier is compared to your subject, the softer the light's going to be. The smaller your light source is compared to your subject, the harsher the light's going to be. Simply put, I have a seven foot umbrella with a one stop of diffusion material on it. This allows light to wrap around my subject and soften his shadow that is slightly lower in frame because of how far forward he is from that background. My second lighting setup is something most new photographers don't consider, and that's simply to place our light above our subject. In these situations, I would advise using a boom arm because you can then position the light parallel to the floor, and it allows you a lot more flexibility when you're maneuvering around but I've opted not to use one, simply to show you that it's possible to create these images without one. To be clear, my light is placed approximately two to three feet above my subject's head. And remember that I'm using a fairly large modifier, so light's gonna travel in a very broad pattern. That's gonna allow me to fill in the shadows under his eyes and his neck, and then create soft shadows in the image. Now, if you're using a smaller reflective umbrella, remember that your light will be harsher than a larger one and therefore you're going to see darker shadows. If that's the case, I'd advise using a reflector in order to help fill in those shadows. Our third lighting setup is one of the most basic fundamental patterns of light, split light. Split light occurs when the light in your image is placed at 90 degrees to the subject's face, parallel to their profile. Now, because the light is parallel to your subject's face, it can wash out their cheekbones, making them look wider in camera. In those cases, I'd advise raising your light slightly higher and tilting it towards your subject to create better accentuation on their cheekbones. And that's it. Now those are three easy ways to use your reflective umbrella. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please don't forget to subscribe to Autorama TV for more tutorial videos like these. Until next time, you guys have a great day.